description. Taking the example of a straight line, whose slope at the boundary points is decidedly not zero, as soon as the clock starts, those boundary values will shift infinitesimally, such that the slope there suddenly becomes zero and remains that way through the remainder of the evolution. In other words, finding a function satisfying the heat equation itself is not enough. It must also satisfy the property that it's flat at each of those endpoints for all times greater than zero. Phrased more precisely, the partial derivative with respect to x of our temperature function at 0t and at lt must be 0 for all times t greater than 0, where l is the length of the rock. This is an example of a boundary condition, and pretty much any time that you have to solve a partial differential equation in practice, there will also be some boundary condition hanging along for the rest, which demands just as much attention as the PDE itself. All of this may make it feel like we've gotten nowhere, but the function which is a sine wave in space and an exponential decay in time actually gets us quite close. We just need to tweak it a little bit so that it's flat at both endpoints. First off, notice that we could just as well use a cosine function instead of a sine. I mean, it's the same wave, it's just shifted in phase by a 